Hi everyone, Big Thingy Boom Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new horrendous album, Ontological Mysterium. This is the fifth full-length LP from this Philadelphia metal outfit. I've been waiting a minute for this one, considering that their last full-length idol dropped back in 2018, five years ago, and was one of my favorite albums of that year, which is a rarity in my review catalog, because as you guys know, I don't usually go crazy for metal records that uh, tend to lean kind of progressive and technical, but I just thought Horrendous had it going on with this LP. The band were clearly students of death metal, both new school and old school, and the guitar work, while flashy, was also tasteful, which I could say the same for the bass. The drums locked in really nicely with all of the intricate leads and melodies. Meanwhile, the recordings and performances were by no means stiff or overproduced, because it's nice when you can find a band that can bring that level of precision and detail, but still present it in a really raw and organic organic way. So with this new LP, I was hoping to hear all of that, and maybe more. We have eight tracks and an intro on this thing spread out amongst 37 minutes, which is not a bad length for a record that is most likely going to be pretty dense. But in the first two minutes of this project, I got the sense the band was going to be giving us something different this time around, maybe even going easier on us, as The Blaze is a soaring, melodic, and kind of easy to digest intro, probably the most righteous sounding start to any horrendous album. This quickly shifts into Chrysopia, a multi-phased anthem with a lot of thrash influence, along with wailing solos, spoken word passages, and some cleanly sung breakdowns too. This is the longest track on the LP at seven minutes, it is the album's first full song, and it's clearly a product of the band's excitement for this LP. Hey, look at all the new things we're doing, we're gonna pack them all into a single track and hit you with pretty much all of them at the same time. Which is an approach. I don't know if it's the best approach because uh, I think it doesn't really leave a whole lot of room to process and on top of it, uh, we still have like, you know, 30 minutes of album left after this song is over. Like, the band could have left something for the track Aurora Neoterica, for example, which is uh, mostly this short jazz fusion-esque filler cut in the first leg of the record, and while I appreciate some of the extra details on this track like the keys or the occasional sung vocal deeper into this record, uh, these sounds are not as prominent as they could have been in the mix, and really could have made some of these tracks sound a lot bigger rather than, you know, just like tucking them in underneath the guitars. Take Preterition Hymn's Viking vocal harmony chant passages as an example, as they could have been a lot fuller. There is still fun to be had on the more aggressive cuts from the record like Neon Leviathan, which is what you would get if you could cheekily, gruesome, tech, death, a campy, satanic, uh, speed, or hair metal track. The drums and main riffs on this one sound like leather pants and cocaine. Meanwhile, the death metal vocal leads with all the layered screaming and shouting sounds like a hundred demons rising up from hell. The track is so preposterous and so over the top, I love it. Outside of that, the remaining tracks that really stood out to me were pretty much the singles. Even while still having some reservations with Preterition Hymn, it is one of the stronger and more melodic cuts here. There's also Cult of Shadow, which has this a relentlessly savage performance with loads of technical details, groovy riffs, and the most unhinged vocal performance on the entire record, too. Not so much a death metal style growl, but uh, really just like <laughs> manic screaming and yelling. Either way, the band somehow delivers one sick high energy riff and solo after another for the entirety of the track, backed with some super dynamic drums and expressive bass playing, too. It's so simple and so direct and also so powerful. And and while sure, in the grander scheme of things, it may not be super stylistically ambitious or different for horrendous, but I think it goes harder than many of the attempts on this LP to kind of, you know, push themselves outside of their comfort zone, which goes double for the title track, I would say. Thankfully, the band isn't really fucking around on the closer either, the Death Knell Ringeth, which features doomy funeral bells, sinister lead melodies, and some demonic vocals too. The band is once again taking a hard turn into a thrash style on this cut, while still staying true to that flashy guitar work and uniquely shaped grooves that have kind of a proggy edge to them. I will say this cut is way more edge of your seat too uh, than whatever the band was trying to pull off on the first full song. The only track I haven't talked about yet is uh, Ex Genesis, which is another nod toward embracing more of a, a kind of jammy and slightly improvisational vibe. You do get those metal and progressive elements in there, but there's like some jazz rock tinges in there too. 
And the guitar solo passages, while they are kind of freaky, from a technical and melodic standpoint, they don't really seem sure as to where to go. So it's not like the improvs are all that mind-blowing or satisfying. Plus, with it being jammier, the band doesn't really seem to know where to end it. Outside of smothering the song with some gruesome vocal layers toward the back end and just kind of letting it fizzle out. Look, I'll say this. I overall thought Ontological Mysterium was a pretty good album for Horrendous, but didn't really feel like the successful growth and expansion in sound that I would have hoped for from a band like this having waited like five years uh, for their record here. I don't really think this thing bests their last two albums either, but it still has some great highlights and is surely worth a listen if uh, you're an underground metalhead, you're a prog head, something like that. Uh, feeling a light seven on this one, Transition. Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head, it's another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, horrendous, forever.